Good evening students. Welcome to one more session of your WOC channel, your channel students. Today we are on the day 4 of your 400 expected questions. So students what happened? Day 1 very excited you were. Day 2 very nice. Day 3 it's going very slowly. Yesterday I did 10 questions. See students anything which I start it is for you only. If you don't watch, if you don't share, I lose the interest in sending or uploading the video isn't it? Whatever comes from Vani ma'am it is only for your good remember so i request all of you to go through all the videos yes yeah, students day one day two and day three today what are we going to do basically today we are going to do one assertion reasoning questions i'll explain you that after that we'll be doing one more reasoning question or let us see so in that assertion reasoning first understand the concept of what we have to do we will take one question and then we will go to the next question. Let's read. So basically this year you know MCQs are there for the board exam, assertion and reasoning questions are there and case beat questions. First see how to understand the question. If uh, assertion and reasoning question is given, how to understand. Let's read it. Right here what do they give me? The question is assertion reasoning questions. It looks something like this. So remember students there are basically two statements would be there in the assertion reasoning questions. How many? Two statements. Statement one is always assertion. Okay we will see what it is. No, nothing to get confused. Statement one. Two statements would be there. Statement one would be always assertion and statement two would be always reason. Okay, so they'll give you two statements, one assertion statement, one reason statement. Okay, in that they're going to give you four options, A, B, C and D. What options? First thing, statement one is true. That means nothing but assertion is true. Next, statement two is true. That means reason is true. Both are truisms. Means option first you should understand. First option is assertion true, reason true. Next, in the bracket, they are going to give you reason is a correct explanation of assertion. Reason should support the assertion statement. Okay, what actually is assertion also we will see, nothing to worry. Okay, so this is the first part, A part, right? Assertion, reason, in which reason is a correct explanation of assertion. Done. Option 2, assertion correct, reason also correct, but here reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. Okay, opposite. Here, reason is correct explanation. In the second case, reason is not the correct explanation. Case 3 or option 3. Assertion is right, reason, reason is wrong. Option D, assertion is wrong, reason is right. So, understood the students? So, two statements, all the four cases, how does it look? It looks like this. First case A, option, it may change with the board also, but concept is this. Assertion right, reason right. Reason is the correct explanation of assertion. It goes, reason can support the assertion statement. Second part is assertion right, reason right, but reason is not supporting the assertion statement. It will not support. In the C case, assertion right, reason wrong. In the D case, assertion wrong, reason right. Shall we see one example students? Yes, let us rub this board and see one example and check whether we have understood. If you understand this concept, all the assertion reasoning questions would be easy for you all. Yes, let us do the question now. Right, now let us see the question students based on assertion reasoning. What did they give me? This is your question number 7 that is for your uh, day 4. Assertion, I stole two statements. See here, they have given you double salt. They, here they have given you potassium sulfate, aluminium sulfate, double salts are there along with water of hydration. Okay, so basically potassium sulfate, aluminium sulfate 20, 24H2O is a double salt. That is the assertion. Reason they gave, it ionizes to give a complex ion right basically we have four options a b c d i have to check now check carefully 
once the question is given to you read carefully read the question now what is it here they have given a concept double salt here they have given a comp uh, uh, concept complex ion which chapter is the students it is basically your coordination compounds chapter so always remember once assertion reasoning question your concepts just directly go to the concept remember double salt is what basically when i take double salts okay right let us to try take two words double salt this should all be in your brain think okay now next comes your complex salt so complex ion rather or complex ions or complex salts <coughs> basically now check students here double salts are those just like this which are first of all what is the students this is nothing but potash alum okay this is called potash alum now double salts identity is when i take this double salt and when i dissolve it in water what is going to happen they are going to lose their identity remember always remember the concept double salts are those which when dissolved in water what will happen they will lose their identity okay they will when when dissolved in water lose their identity they are going to lose their identity okay ma'am uh, what will go, what is going to happen ma'am yes when i dissolve a double salt something like potash alum i'll be getting different ions what what are they i'll get potassium ion what will i get <coughs> aluminium ion what will i get sulfate ion correct i'll it will lose and all ions are formed so basically double salts are solids they're soluble in water so if i want to get double salt no what will i do i have to mix two simple salts this is all concept students so basically doubles also form from a from simple salts okay these are formed from simple two simple salts two simple salts combined like potassium sulfate aluminium sulfate combined they'll form double salts okay now complex ions or complex salts important this is again a concept do not lose their identity do not lose their identity correct no students do not lose their identity that means if i dissolve it in water for example i take k4 fe cn6 is one coordinate complex let us take this suppose if i take this if i dissolve it in water that will not divide into ions whatever complex you have everything will be intact it will be together the complex will be like this only you will not get separately potassium you will not get separately iron you will not get separately cyano the whole complex remains like that only so complex ions are those who do not lose their identity in which one in aqueous solutions right this is your concept which your teacher has taught you so this has to go now come back to this question check here double salt this particular potash alum is a double salt check double salt yes because it is formed from two simple salts yes so what do i write assertion is correct come back reason it ionizes into give a complex ion is it ionizing it is, yes it is ionizing but double salts always form what students simple ions what do they form they form always simple ions not complex ions simple ions because this is a complex ion this is a complex ion not a simple ion all together intact that means your reason part whatever is given reason is wrong so we saw that question no what what question did we see in the option a assertion right reason right reason correct explanation of assertion but wrong not this one in the b option assertion right reason right reason is wrong option reason is not explaining that is also wrong c a right r right d a uh, a a right r wrong a wrong r right now tell me students which option this option assertion is right correct reason is wrong so the correct answer is c so what will you do you will mark option c ma'am so much of confusion no confusion concept everywhere it is concept if you understand the concept assertion and reasoning is easy so now today you have seen i think how to analyze so you will go read this question analyze like this go and market okay right like this i'll be doing a lot of questions in these 100 200 questions nothing to worry students right you have followed i think careful assertion statement 1 reason statement 2 whether reason is supporting or not you have to check now let us come and see the 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सो थैंक यू सो मच लेट्स सी दैट Right now, let us come back and see one more question of your organic chemistry, which is very important. Such comparison of acidic strength, comparison of basic strength, comparison of stability, comparison of boiling point. Lot of questions we are going to do, students. So just read the question. Nothing to get confused. Concept is important. Check. What do they give me? Compare acidic strength of the following compounds. They have given me phenol with nitro at the para position, phenol with chloro. at the para position phenol with methyl or alkyl group at the para position phenol with methoxy och3 group at the para position i have to compare acidity so acidity questions are given to you means first important thing remember students acidic strength acidic strength is always directly proportional to what conjugate base of the particular anion let us first write it is directly proportional to conjugate base of the anion and acidic strength is directly proportional to minus m i minus m groups okay we will see what are they minus m groups or minus i groups okay now careful here important thing minus m groups or minus i groups or i wrote now we will see indirectly proportional to plus m groups or plus i groups plus i groups now check in this minus m or minus i groups also you have category okay where which is more which is strong now check so remember this whenever you have acidic strength concept that means if minus m groups and minus i groups are there in this that will be the strongest acid if plus m groups or plus i groups are there means that will be the weakest acid now minus m or minus i groups are called electron withdrawing groups plus i or plus m groups are called electron releasing groups now let us see that and then come back to this answer right students so we said what are the minus i groups and what are the plus i groups i given examples now see alkyl groups are always my uh, plus i groups electron releasing groups these are these are erg groups erg they will be releasing electrons now minus i is electron withdrawing group now check carefully here also there is order more number of alkyl groups more is a plus i effect more effect of that more it will release electrons then comes second third Third, fourth. Now, in this case, electron withdrawing groups. Nitro is the strongest. This is the strongest. Where you find nitro, that would be the strongest acidic compound. Then fluoro, chloro, bromo, iodo, methoxy, OCH3, and then C6H5. Now you come back to this question and see, students. Let me number this as A, B, C, and D. Now, in option A, what effect you are seeing? what effect you are seeing there is nitro here okay minus i or every minus m effect now in the second chloro same thing students it is minus i effect okay now b i'll write here b option has minus i effect now let us write for c c option is having this is which effect plus i effect plus i effect c o c h 3 is where here o c h 3 e d is having plus m effect simple no now write down the order simple the order is a always nitro is the strongest a more stronger than b after a comes b minus i effect i told you know minus i effect electron withdrawing groups if they are there always remember electron withdrawing groups more Acid, <coughs> acidity more so next comes b next comes c next comes d
that's all simple so students i am explaining questions with the concept i am not simply giving you this is the answer no every question i am explaining it takes lot of pain to find time remember time for me 24 hours in that finding time is very difficult so please students watch it share it i'll meet you again tomorrow please watch it if you watch i'm the happiest person you want to see your vani mom being happy isn't it so thank you so much for watching tomorrow i'll come back again more and more more and more will be added will be doing numericals also nothing to worry thank you so much share it thank you